Okay, I have an Asa V10, uh, Asa Twin V10 again, um, but this time with gins. So I had done a gins before, but I didn't show the counter milling on the plug. So uh, I'm going to do a different one this time. It's not this time. It's not a mogul. So this is just like the barrels one I just did, but instead the drivers are are gin bottle spools, and they're in uh, matched gin bottle counter milling. Um, there are six pins on top again, and there are also the five sidebar pins that have false gates on them. So Go ahead and uh, get into this. So the first thing you do is you just want to get um, you want to get into a false set, which is getting all your gin bottles into being set or stuck in their counter milling. So this is straightforward, kind of like just picking a regular lock. So I'm not going to really talk my way through this. I'll just drop it into a false set really quick um, without much ado. So we're in a, we're in a false set now. So now what we're going to do is we want to find out which gins are set and which ones are in their counter milling. Um, and I find that with gins, it's pretty tough to feel the difference here. So this one is number six is set and number five is in counter milling. So this is set. This is counter milling. Counter milling might be just slightly less wiggle and I don't know if much else about it's different. So I'm going to let off the tension a little. And while I'm bouncing the pick, I'm going to also kind of go back and forth, trying to wiggle that, that pin back and forth to try to get it out of the counter milling, which I just did, without letting off too much tension so I don't drop other stuff. So now six and five are both set. Four might be set already. Six, five, four. Oh, four, I can just push. So that one must have been just on the very edge. So I was able to just push up on that. Three, feels already set. Two, three, two. Two, I was able to just push through. And one. One is really hard because it's so high up here. It's up front. One feels set. Okay, I'll just double check everything again. Six, five, Four, oh, six. Anytime I kind of slide off a pin, I'm worried that I pull it out. Four doesn't feel like he's staying up there. I might have to do a little bit of sidebar work and then come back and check those again. So one, two, three is binding on the sidebar. Click out a three. One, click out a two, but not feeling set. Click, nope. So just like before, if you watch the one with the barrels, this is the same sidebar um, strategy. The false gates are pretty firm. The true gates are uh, wide and springy. So now nothing's binding over here. So I'm thinking, check the tops again. There might not be isolating. Six and five are set. Four set. Three, two, and one, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So you could be good at barrels or you could be good at gin, but it's hard to be good at both. So I'm more of a barrels guy. One, two doesn't feel quite right. I'm wondering if I overset two. Could be my problem. I'm going to let off tension a bit, see if I can drop just him. Okay. Check our top. I probably dropped something up here is my guess. Six, five, yep, four. We had to re get back out of the counter milling. Two back out of the counter milling. One, six, huh? Five, four had to go back up a little. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so three is good. Two is binding. Click there. I think it needs another one. Is this what I did wrong before though? Yeah, nothing else is binding except for two and three. Okay, now, it's, now it feels a little bit springy on two. Three, 
four is binding a little tiny bit, but nope, not anymore. Five is binding tiny, tiniest bit. I don't know if that's gonna stay in gates. Let me see. Oh, probably because I have to do something to one. One is binding. So click from one. Two feels good. Three feels good. F okay, so now four is binding. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, that feels better. Five is up a bit, but a little bit more. Okay, I think that's right. So we'll check one, two, no, this feels okay. Three, oh, okay, four, no click. Let's check one again. No, one is binding hard now. Come on. There we go, and we're open. So, um, just kind of similar things I did with the same thing that I talked more about barrels on the sidebar I just applied here and the top was different than the other one um, needing to work those gins and the only gin I really had to work was number five really um, the other ones I could just push up because they were just on the cusp of setting thanks to the sidebar um, if you're doing something like the ASA 600 um, you won't have that sidebar giving you the counter rotation, so you need to float pick it, and you're not going to be so lucky as to have these ones that you can just click through because um, they're not going to be resting on the edge because it doesn't have a sidebar. So let's go ahead and um, take a look inside this one. So zoom out a little. Uh, some tools. All right, so we'll go ahead and lock her back up. All right, so first thing is, how do I want to take this apart? We'll do it from the top, I guess. You can do it out the front too, Let's bang that out. Okay, don't let the spring shoot off when you pull this off. There we go. So six springs for a six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Pick that up before I lose it. Six. Five. Three, two, oh, I guess no, one of the things that you're supposed to show, it would be easier to pick the show from the other way, is that the gins are the right way around. I don't know if that came out slow enough to show it, um, but they're all the right way around. I don't know why you'd do it the other way around. It'd be so Then they would all act like standards and you wouldn't get hung up when you're picking it, so it would be kind of noticeable during the pick process too. All right, take that off. Um, the key will help you so that all the um, side pins don't shoot out the bottom and make sure you catch this sidebar, otherwise it'll shoot out and you'll lose the sidebar springs. So the sidebar there has cuts, oh, hold on. So the sidebar, um, the bidding is determined by the sidebar itself and it won't focus. There we go, okay. So you can see the sidebar bidding there and that those cuts have to go into um, little cuts on the uh, sidebar pins. So I'll show you those and how that works. It's got two springs, one, two, and then you can take this key out and that will release these, um, these sidebar pins. And these are all the same. And they have um, they have these false gates on them. Maybe you can see from the side. There's two false gates above and two false gates below that deep true gate cut. So there's the order doesn't really matter because they're all the same. But if you're a little OCD, 
We like everything to go back in the way it came out. One, and these are all the same springs for each of these, like this. And then the thing I forgot to show last time I picked one of these is that if you take a look on the plug, we'll zoom in more actually. Oh, somebody's sending me a message. Move that. So on the plug right here, you can see that the barrel one had two serrations on each of these um, and on every cylinder. This one has one deeper serration. So it's a bigger serration like that rather than being two. So just one and then you're popped out. Just one popped out. And then not, nothing on this one. Okay, so this was um when I was going through um, the sixth one, the the gin never engages a really low cut. Let's see the key. Yeah, see it's low cut on number on number six. So when I picked it, the gin didn't engage. Um, it was already set, so I didn't have to ever play with that. I just, when I was picking it, I did have to lift it to get the false set, but I lifted it right to the set point, not into the counter milling. Then I had to uh, counter rotate a little to be able to get the fifth one set out of the counter milling. This for, um, the fourth one, it was able to just be pushed up because it was kind of not deep in the counter milling. It didn't get enough rotation out of the plug to get the gin deep into this counter milling, so that just kind of popped up. Three, I didn't ever have to do because it has no counter milling. So that's why I, I couldn't figure out why I never had to set three. Two, I was able to just poke up just kind of like four and same thing with one. Um, and that was the plug there. So looking at these pins, um, all standard key pins, the gins, you know, this is what, uh, if you take one of these, this is what catches in that counter milling right there like that. That little lip on what we call the gin bottle because it's a little bottle of gin. So there we go. That is the uh, Asa Twin V10 with gins and matching counter milling. Thanks.